Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to ramble again. Wow, that was way too close to the camera. I didn't, I didn't mean to get that close. Um, anyway, today I have some thoughts in my brain and I wanted to get them out in the form of making a video. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So with that said, um, I don't know, let's just begin, I guess. Yeah, yeah, let's just begin. Rainbow High, one of the doll lines ever. I sure do have a lot of thoughts about these very colorful, in some cases not so colorful, um, creatures, because I still don't know what the Shadow High characters are. Are they human? Are they just humans with purple hair and purple skin? I have no idea. I've been thinking about Rainbow High lately, mostly because whenever I come into my doll room I've got like three whole shelves completely occupied by the line. Well, in this case this shelf isn't completely occupied, my Bratzillas are on here too. And I think that's it. I think it's just Bratzillas and Rainbow High dolls. I honestly can't tell. But uh, yeah, this doll line definitely is on my mind quite frequently because I come in here quite frequently. And I guess the question that I want to ask myself today is, do I still like Rainbow High and Shadow High? It is a question that has been on my mind for quite some time. I'm honestly not entirely sure how I feel about the doll line. Like, whenever I get into a mood, I start to sell some of my dolls, but I end up keeping the vast majority of them due to liking them. But sometimes I have to ask myself, do I like them enough to keep them on display? And I think that's kind of what I'm wondering with myself today, because lately I've been thinking I could use those shelves for my G3 dolls, and I realized, oh shit, do I even like Rainbow High anymore? So... Yeah, yeah, lots of lots of thoughts there. Lots of thoughts being thunk. I do still love Jade, by the way. That's why I'm using her to talk in this video. Uh, my favorite characters from Rainbow High are, like, totally exempt from this. So, like, Jade, Bella. Who else do I like? I like Robin and Heather and Georgia. Those are three that I feel quite strongly about. Um, I really like Shadow High as a whole. You know, I actually, I don't want to include Shadow High in this. I really feel like it's kind of just my confusing relationship with Rainbow High, because Rainbow High has some nice dolls. Like, the three I'm showing you here are, like, probably three of my favorites. I know. I know it's weird of me to like Jet. But sometimes I feel like I only started collecting Rainbow High to fill the void left by Monster High's absence. But now that Monster High is back, I don't feel that attached to Rainbow High anymore. And I'm starting to wonder if I ever actually felt attachment to Rainbow High? I don't know. Um, I do still like quite a few characters, though. Like, I like Zoe and Harley and Leela. And, of course, I love Jade and Bella. And, like, the, all, honestly, these, these two are my favorite characters. Shadow High and Rainbow High alike have given us some great dolls. Like, the Storm Twins are probably two of the greatest dolls of all time and deserve a fucking award for how good they are. But, I don't know. I just f have very conflicting feelings about the Rainbow High and Shadow High brands. Not so much Shadow High. I don't know why I keep including Shadow High in that. I honestly love Shadow High. Like, Demi is gorgeous, even though she was extremely irrelevant in the show. I love Dia, even though, again, she had, like, no relevance in the show and got eliminated first, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> they did Dia horribly. I don't know why they got rid of her immediately. Granted, they didn't do these two much better. I'm pretty sure Olivia spoke, like, maybe five times before her elimination, which was, like, a, multi a multiple eliminations thing. I don't like her hairstyle. I need to take this down and do something else with it. But yeah, Rainbow High is weird for me because I like Jade. I like some of the characters, and a lot of the dolls, I can admit, are super well designed, and I like them. Like, I would love to complete the runway line. I think it's a very gorgeous line, and I'd like to get all of them at some point. Maybe not all of them. I think I mostly just want Amaya and Poppy, and maybe Violet, because I think the Violet is pretty. I don't know. I'm just saying stuff, but, um, yeah, I like Rainbow High. I don't dislike it. It's kind of like how I feel about OMG. Like, I have my tweens on display, but as for, like, actual OMG dolls, I don't have a whole lot of them out, and I have the majority of them in storage. And sometimes I wonder if I should do that with my Rainbow High dolls, like, if I should just put them in storage and use the space that they're taking up to display dolls I feel more passionate about, like my G3 and Monster High alumni dolls, because I don't think the releases are slowing down anytime soon. I think they're only going to get worse and faster, and <laughs> Stitched in Style Frankie, despite just being revealed a few days ago, is already, like, shipping out and stuff. I don't- it's overwhelming. It's a lot. 
it's it's a lot and I can't stop because if I stop I'll miss a release and then I won't be able to get it and it's just a mess and as a result Rainbow High has just been kind of sidelined in my brain for a while like Shadow High Series 3 released and I haven't bought a single one I usually get at least one when I first see a new collection but I didn't feel like buying any of Shadow High Series 3. I feel like right now Rainbow High is a lot like other doll lines I collect. Like, I'm trying to think of an example. I already cited OMG. Like, I still buy OMG occasionally, but not as much as I used to. I think Mycene might be a good comparison. Like, I still like my Mycene dolls and I keep them on display, but I don't prioritize them. And that's kind of how it is right now for me with Rainbow High. I don't prioritize Bratz either. Like, when the new reproductions come out, I usually don't care. Felicia is probably one of the only new dolls I've bought, like, right at release in a while. It feels like I really fixate on Monster Eye a lot. I don't know. I just do. And you can you can probably see that. I mean, I do have, like, 500 Monster High dolls, so it makes sense that I do. But I like other stuff, too. Like, I love Bradzilla's, but I kind of, kind of bought them all, so I don't have any more to... By. The only one I'm actively looking for in Bratzilla's is um, Fiona, but uh, I don't want to spend $200 on her. But yeah, Monster High has really just kind of taken over my attention again, and it's been that way for a while. So I feel like I very much sidelined Rainbow High, like in my brain, just as a whole. So it makes me wonder if I should put some of these dolls away. I think the main ones I'd want to put away are the ones up here. But even then, there's still a lot up here that I'd want to keep, like... The Storm Twins, Winter Jade, and Summer Bella, and the fucking- I don't even remember the names of the lines, too. I don't know. I feel like I talk about this all the time, and I never actually do anything about it, but this time I think I want to. I'll probably have time over the weekend. I'm not gonna have time this week, because I have a job, and I have to work, but, um, I did keep some of my OMGs out, like I did here, so maybe I'll do something like that. Um... I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it a lot. But this shelf, I feel like I'm constantly changing just because it's such a disaster. Not as bad as this one, though. This is my worst shelf, and I hate it. This shelf looks terrible. Still haven't still haven't finished my business with Mattel on my Vampire Heart Dracula, by the way. I, I still I need to do it. I haven't yet. When did you fall? Fun fact, I think this is the prettiest Roxy. And I'm dead serious. I love this doll with all my heart. Action Heroes Roxy. One of the many dolls my girlfriend helped me acquire from her land. My girlfriend lives in England, by the way. You know, while I'm down here, does anyone have an extra uh, Laguna Fire leg fin? I just, I just need one. I just need one. I also um, need a new body for this Frankie. I absolutely love this doll, even though she's very wonky. But, um, she only has one arm, and then it's kind of broken, so I need to rebody her. So if anyone has like a new G2 Frankie body that they don't need, can you can you give me it? I'll buy it from you. I also need the bubble gum. So if anyone has a bubble gum, give it to me. <laughs> that sounds so mean. Um like please. Please give it to me. Please. This looks violent. That looks like a threat. I'm sorry. You know, I've got this violet over here. I don't know why. <laughs> when I think about like Rainbow Eye, I always remember that I have this violet. She just sits there and needs a new home. You know, another doll line I've kind of abandoned is like DC Superhero Girls, but for good reason. The line doesn't exist anymore. But like, wow. I don't... <laughs> I just have these dolls. They all just sit here in a cubby together. If I took them out of here, I could display other dolls in there. Like I could maybe put more of my Nobi stars in there. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot that I could do with my doll room that I don't. I've actually gotten multiple comments before of people being like, oh, if I could come over to your house, I would fix your doll room. Would you? Would you really? Would you know what I want? Because I don't know what I want. <laughs> um, why is this so low on your leg? It doesn't want to go up any higher than this. That is very weird. Um, Maybe I should cut the rubber bands? I don't... Why is it so low on her leg? Is that where it's supposed to be? I feel like it's not. I don't remember. My memory doesn't work. Um, it's usually up here on her thigh, right? 
This is correct, right? Right? Now I just feel really confused. This video is supposed to be about Rainbow High and I'm just kind of rambling about whatever shit comes to mind. Um, Where did you come from? Does anyone remember Junior High? I don't feel like anybody talks about them anymore even though a new collection like just came out. I need to get the Laurel. The Junior High Laurel was really cute. I don't care about Junior High Avery or Kia or Holly. I only like Laurel. I need to wash her hair, it's fucking crunchy. Is it, it crunchy over here? It's not doing the crunch on camera that I wanted it to. You know, I still have multiple Rainbow High dolls whose hair I haven't washed the glue out of. Even though like I said that I would, like I've been like, oh yeah, I need to wash this doll's hair and I still haven't done it. Like, I don't think I ever washed Jade's hair. Harley's hair. <laughs> How did, why did I think her name was Jade Harley? That's a fucking Homestuck character. I still haven't washed most of these dolls' hairs though. Um, I think I did these three. She didn't need it because her hair is in braids. Uh, she didn't need it. Delilah was fine. I washed Ainsley. Okay, I washed both of these actually. No, wait. I don't think I washed Summer Bella's. What the hell was that line called? <laughs> what was it called? <laughs> um, I still think I haven't washed her hair. That is correct. Her hair is still rock solid. Okay, that's embarrassing. Um, so you and you. I washed Michelle, though. I curled it inward like that. I'm weird. I'm weird. I don't think I washed Robin's hair either. Let's check my theory. Fuck. you for like two years i can't believe i forgot to wash her hair oh my god um okay i guess i've got stuff to do this week i need to wash robin's hair two years late i probably haven't washed brianna's hair either she's all the way back there but she's there i need to wash her too did i even wash the twins i i need to stop thinking about this i'm gonna give myself like a brain aneurysm or something so conclusion is indecisive. Do I still like Rainbow High a little bit, but not that much? Yeah, that's my conclusion. I think I was using it as a placeholder for Monster High, and now that Monster High is back, I don't care for it as much anymore. I'll still talk about it and stuff, because it is still a good line, but I've definitely lost interest in it, because my brain is weird. I get, like, super fixated on one thing, and that's kind of what Monster High has been for me for multiple years very long time so um yeah yeah anyway thank you guys for watching this video i'm gonna go eat shredded cheese goodbye